There's a completely free tool you can use to make designs. It's called Dream by Wombo. I'll put a link in the video description below. And it's pretty easy to use. You type into the prompt here at the top, something like, for example, cute cat wearing a top hat. And then you can pick an art style. For example, here, I'm gonna do festive and I'll click create. Now there's a premium option and I'm not talking about that in this video. We've got four buckets here on the right hand side and we can see that there's one bucket that's free and the other three are premium. And this has done a great job of creating a cute cat wearing a top hat. And I can download the design by clicking right there and that gives me a nice JPEG file that I can use. However, there's a completely separate feature inside of Dream by Wombo. If I keep scrolling down, way down, there's an input image option. And what I can do is I can upload an image and then I can have that prompt work with the image. It'll be used as a reference. So I'm gonna upload the image. So in this case, I'm gonna pick a cat and it gives you the option to move things around. You can crop the image. You can make it different sizes. I like the way that looks right there. I'm gonna click crop. So again, at the top, I've got cute cat wearing a top hat. And when I scroll down to the bottom, I have a picture now being used as reference. Now I can adjust the influence. I can make this weak, which means my input image has little effect, or I can make it strong, meaning my input image has a large effect. I'm just gonna leave it as normal for now, and I'm going to click create. Let's see if the image looks different. And we can see here, the image now has been run through the filter. Now it doesn't have a top hat on there. So it's important to note that the if you upload an image, the prompt here doesn't really matter a whole lot. So for example, I'm gonna type in uh, wooden table in a log cabin. I'm gonna keep it as festive and I'll scroll back down and I'll see I've still got my cat here. I'll click create and you'll see it doesn't really matter. The picture is what's driving it, not the text. So it's the style of the picture. Now I can go up to the top and I can pick another style, for example. In this case, I'll pick figure V3 and I'll click create and you can see it's now a different style of image. So you don't actually need a prompt at the top. What you can do instead is just simply upload an image. So in this case, I'm gonna upload the image of the woman. That looks pretty good, I'll click crop. And I'm gonna pick psychedelic. And then I'm gonna click strong, which says your input image has a large effect on the final artwork. You'll notice I can't click create. I still need to put something up at the top in order to make this work. So it's kind of weird, right? Because if I say woman, just for example, and I click create, now the create button comes on. So the prompt is doing something at the top. Here we can see the surreal filter has created a woman, although it looks pretty psychedelic. I'll change it here to ink volume three and I'll click create. And we can see the woman has now popped up, but it does look somewhat different than what was originally put in. So at the top of the screen, it looks like you need to put something in here but when you click create, it doesn't seem to really matter because it's not really reading the text in this prompt. You just need it in order to get to the create button. It's kind of odd. You can see there, it's almost the exact same output. So this feature is pretty cool. I'm gonna do one more here, which is the car. And we can see here, this is a very large photo. And so you're gonna to need to upload an image that isn't necessarily huge. So obviously it's got some bugs to work out. You'd want to upload an image that's not super large. This one is 4912 by 2760. This one is 6000, but it's vertically oriented. Here's a one of a potted plant, for example. So if you've got a large image, be aware that cropping it may affect your ability to render it. When I say crop here, I've now got a plant. Again, at the top, I'm going to just type in something completely at random. I'm going to say cat wearing a suit of armor and it just doesn't matter. I'm gonna select whimsical and click create. And it's pretty obvious it's the picture, not the text that's driving the image. Although there is a little tiny cat there right at the top. So, I mean, it is trying to incorporate it. It's very mysterious how the AI works here. So what's our takeaway from all of this? If you don't want to have anything in your prompt, just simply type in a period and then go down and pick your style and then just click create. And the picture will be the primary driver of what's happening. And we can see sometimes some styles, it'll try to stick something else in there. Here's a person, which is kind of weird because the picture, the original picture did not have a person in there at all. If I pick another, for example, etching, another type of style and I click create, again, my only text in this case 
has been a period, and we can see now the etching is of a plant, but it's done in an etching style. So it's there's a ton of variety here. The prompt doesn't seem to matter in most cases, but for some styles, it's not zero. It does matter a little bit. Anyway, it's a very cool feature, but it's somewhat hidden. So if you go to Dream by Wombo, make sure to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and now you've got this input image at the bottom. Hope you found this helpful. I do like using AI. Although we are in the beginning stages, and man, oh man, sometimes it really looks awful. Sometimes it looks great. Part of the fun of a free tool. Here's another free tool where you can supercharge your digital crafting skills for free.